showing you how to use the laser cutter. Before we get started, some procedures and safety precautions. While the laser cutting is running, never open the top up. Pretty common sense, but just make sure you never do that. Also, unlike the 3D printer, you do need to constantly supervise the laser cutter as it's running. Don't ever leave it alone while it's still cutting. And then before you start any cuts, just like with the 3D printer, you do want to log every cut that you do and make sure a supervisor approves your cut before you start it. Alright, in case of emergency, so while you're watching the laser cutter, if you see any flames pop up, that's not normal. Definitely shut off the whole machine. Power button's right here, and you want to make sure you hold the button for a long time before it's actually going to shut off. And that's it. Let's get started. Anytime you want to cut out a design with the laser cutter, you would want to save it as a PDF file, which is a little bit unusual, but that's what we use. PDF file, and any shapes you want cut out, you want to make sure it's in red lines. And you can design this in anything you want, but we recommend Inkscape right here. Inkscape is pretty easy to use and it is free to download and it also lets you control the units pretty well. So that's why we recommend this program. First, when you open up a blank document, you can change the size of the document. Under Files, Document Properties, this window is going to show up and then Custom Size. So the material we have in the lab is going to be 24 by 12 inches maximum. You don't have to go all the way up to the size. This is just to give you an idea of how much space you have to work with. All right, and it should change accordingly. There's a lot of capabilities in here that I'm not gonna get into. I'll just show you how to cut out very basic shapes. So here's the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle by clicking and dragging. And then once you have a shape you want, you wanna change its properties using the cursor tool right here. So select it, and then you'll see this properties menu. So there's fill, stroke paint, stroke style, and all the colors are controlled in the RGB standard, so red, green, blue. Fill, you don't need any fill for this, so just pick no paint. That's what this little X is for. And then stroke paint. Stroke is basically their way of saying the outline. So you wanna make sure the outline is in red, and you want the slider all the way at 255, everything else at zero. This A stands for the opacity of the line. Make sure that's all the way at 255 at all times or it's not gonna come out the way you expect it to. And don't pick any of the weird linear gradients, none of this stuff. Make sure you have the solid color. And then stroke style, this is where you pick the thickness of the line. The thickness of the line does not matter to the laser cutter once you have it as a PDF file because it's just going to follow the path. It's not going to make the line any thicker or thinner, but just to make your life easier, you can make it 0 .002 inches. This is going to show you just how thin the laser cutter is going to cut. So if you're doing really detailed work, you can do this, or if you just want your lines to be more visible, it doesn't matter if you make the line thicker. So even if it's like this thick, it's still just gonna follow the middle of the line according to the coordinates. Another helpful thing in Inkscape is you can control the size of your shape. So once you've selected your object with this cursor tool up here on the bar, you'll see that it says width is 168 pixels by 111 pixels. So this isn't very helpful. You can change it to whatever units you actually want. Inches is usually the best bet. So we can make this one by one inches. You can do this with irregular shapes too, like a circle. It's just gonna count it as very outside dimension. So this is one inch by one inch. Anytime you use a color other than red, so I can show an example with the star. You can see how this is going to come out with the laser cutter. Anytime you use a different standard RGB color, standard RGB color, it has to be all the sliders are either at 0 or at 255, no in-betweens. So you can do yellow, you can do green, blue, black, whatever. 
This is actually just gonna get engraved instead of cut all the way through. So all the red lines you see are gonna cut all the way through and then anything not red is just gonna be engraved on top of the material. So once you have something that looks good to you, go to File, Save As, and you wanna pick PDF. Inkscape by default is gonna do SVG. You're always gonna have to change it. And then if you do work on this computer, save it onto a USB drive. Don't save it on the desktop and expect it to be there the next time. Just for this example, I will save it to the desktop. Right. And then the default right here is fine. Just click OK. And then you're all set. We do have two types of materials and two different thicknesses available to you in the lab. We encourage you to only cut these pieces because we already have settings in the laser cutter that are set for these to cut all the way through. You'll see here, these are the new pieces of acrylic, quarter inch, eighth inch, and then new pieces of wood, quarter inch and eighth inch. And then all the scrap materials go here. Make sure when you put it back that you actually try to place it as neatly as possible. Throw away any scraps that aren't usable anymore and just be courteous so the next person can have an easier time using these materials. Also be aware that with the thinner wood, over time they can warp and bend, and this is gonna affect the way it's gonna get cut out when you put it in the laser cutter. So it is okay for you to pick and choose and try to pick the flattest piece of material as possible. Once you have a PDF that you're ready to cut, go to UCP, that's this red square with a little diamond in the middle, and then first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna import your file. So go to the yellow folder, click import, and then find where your file is and open it up. Make sure that sort vectors and all strokes as vectors are both checked and then click okay. Once it's been imported, it will show up on this left-hand side, just like all the other files that have already been imported. The first time you do it, you're not gonna see a preview right here, that's perfectly fine. As long as you see it's the right file name, go ahead and do select, and it will show up right here. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go to settings and pick the right settings for your material. So don't worry about all the settings right here. We have presets for the materials we have in the lab. So you just wanna go to load and then go under favorites and ULS settings. And you will see settings for extruded acrylic, 25 stands for 0.25 inches, so quarter inch, eighth inch acrylic, quarter inch birch wood, eighth inch birch wood. Let's do quarter inch wood for now. So double click so the settings are here. And then you always wanna do apply or nothing's gonna change. After that, you do okay. And you're pretty much ready to cut at this point, but let me explain what this space over here means. So you'll see the coordinates up here. These are all in inches, and they do match up with the actual cutting bed of the laser cutter. So you'll see one through 24 inches up here, and then one through 17 or 18 down here. So that's your workspace. You wanna pick a piece of material, it doesn't have to be a whole piece as long as it's big enough for your design. And you want to lay it flat on the bed like this. It's actually pretty arbitrary where you put it over here, but it's easier if you just line it up with the coordinates. And then this thing also does lift up this honeycomb bed. You want to match the upper left corner to the upper left corner of the machine. Right? And then you can close it. Once you have a PDF imported in here, it's not very flexible what you can do in here. You can't rotate your shapes. You can't scale it or anything. The only thing you can really do is you can move it around and decide where it's actually gonna cut on the material. So say you put it here, like one inch by one inch on this corner. What's gonna happen is that little square is gonna get cut one inch by one inch over here. So when you change, where you want to put it. You can eyeball it that way and just drag it around using this relocate view. 
or you can turn on the machine first. So you can turn the machine on with the buttons over here or you can physically use the buttons on the machine. It's okay to turn the machine on with the top still open, just make sure you are not cutting with the top open. Alright, it's gonna take a second for it to warm up. And then you can choose precisely where it's gonna start cutting with the focus view tool. So, wherever you click on here, once the machine is on, this is 8 by 2, you click it and you'll see that the laser actually moves to the coordinates and it gives you an exact idea of where it's actually going to start cutting on your piece of material. So pretend I really want to put the square right here to conserve space and conserve material. What I can do is eyeball and say, oh it's about 22 by like 3 inches. Go over here, 22 by 3 inches, and click just to make sure that it's actually going to fit. That's not going to do it. <laughs> so it's a little bit trial and error. Right. So it is very precise, so even if it's really close to the edge like that, it's still fine. So that's a good place to put it. And then to move your shape to this point, you go back to relocate view and this little X is actually going to disappear. But don't worry. So you pick a point on your shape that you want to match up with the laser point. You choose it, you click two pointer over here, and it'll automatically match up. And that's where it's going to start cutting. So you'll see that those two corners are matching up. And then if you want it to be this corner, two pointer, and it's going to match up. Right. So once all that's done, ready to cut but first you want to log and make sure that you put the date time and then for duration because the laser cutter is very fast it's okay if you just pick a rough estimate of how long you're gonna use it say five minutes what this project is for and then the material that you just used so quarter inch wood and then before you start cutting, before you go on to the next steps, make sure you get this signed off by a supervisor. The most important safety thing is you want to turn on this air valve. Um, this takes all the air out from inside the machine and make sure that a fire doesn't start. That's very important. Once you hear everything going, go ahead and click play. And you'll see that it starts cutting. Once again, you don't ever want to leave this unattended. You always want to be watching what the machine's doing. If a flame ever does pop up, make sure you shut off the machine immediately and let a supervisor know. Turn off the machine. 30 seconds before you open up the top of it again, after which it is safe to remove your cut. So we put the material back on the rack. And then you want to discard any small pieces and make sure this space is still very clean when you leave it. And there you have it over here. So you can see that the red star is cut out while the cyan star is just engraved in the material.